AI. Google is among the senior companies out there really working on artificial intelligence, and we've been looking at it here as well. Um, it's everywhere, mm -hmm. Eric. Is it just going to get bigger and more prevalent? There's a lot ahead of us in terms of getting computers to be smarter. Yeah. And I think the biggest wins are going to be in healthcare. And I think this is largely under You've said this for a long time. I, I'm, I'm convinced of it. And here's why. As much as we think of ourselves as individuals, biologically we're very similar to each other. And computers can watch what happens. And now the algorithms are so good that when you go into a hospital, a hospital if we know roughly, uh, and you give us your permission about information, this is the hospital now, not Google. The hospital can say, hey, we think this is the next ailment that's going to happen. That's how good the algorithms are getting. The whole era of precision medicine, uh, the ability to have medicine that's directed directly at you is directly related to these algorithms. Another example is diagnostics. Um, pathology and radiology are now better with computers than what the humans do. So what will happen is you'll still have your doctor, but the computer will make a recommendation. That recommendation will be more accurate than the doctor's eyes. There, there's a lot of debate on what this is going to mean in terms of employment. Some jobs will go away as a result. I know new jobs will be created for sure. But are you in the Larry Page theory of things or are you in the Elon Musk theory of things where this could be very disruptive? And can you execute artificial intelligence in an ethical way as not to harm too many people? Well, absolutely in an ethical way, and the whole industry is focused on that. I'm absolutely convinced that there's going to be a huge job shortage. And by that I mean not enough people to fill the jobs that are open because of this. And the reason is that the, the AI systems will make things so much more efficient, there will be such economic growth that we literally are going to need more people, more education to fill these jobs. There's no question that it's disruptive. This is not a jo job killer. This is a job creator. Yeah. So somebody said to me the other day, look, when we learned about nuclear technology, we didn't go around giving everybody nuclear bombs. There was a way to unveil it and implement it in an ethical way. Yes, but this is not this is not nuclear. This stuff is capable of making everything we do more efficient, clearer, better algorithms, more productive in the same way that the personal computer did. This has taken over our whole industry in terms of machine learning, um, better business algorithms. If you're running a business and you're not using AI machine learning, your competitor can beat you. I agree with that. And that's where we're seeing it in every single industry. It's really fascinating what's happened. And it's about data, right? A data inserted into the computer, making the computer smarter. So, so today, the, the systems are completely dependent upon large sources of data. And so the companies that have the most data, whether it's in maps or business or what have you, typically are winning. In the future, we think actually it'll be possible for computers to generate some of their own training data. So there's a huge new field coming out, which will make that even more efficient. And Bill so the outlook of AI is very exciting and scary at the same time. I do have to agree with the CEO, former CEO of Google, that I do believe that a lot more opportunities will be cre created and that uh, although maybe some jobs are replaced, I'm sure plenty of new opportunities will come. And uh, hopefully I'm a big proponent of universal basic income. So people that are displaced, hopefully our government or uh, whoever um, is going to be the decision maker at the time figures out ways to keep people uh, afloat until they can figure out how to support themselves in the new economy. Um, but ideally, if everything is becoming automated, it should free up time and hopefully we have a cut to the working hours and maybe we get a six hour work week instead of an eight as machines become more efficient. But let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you soon.